All right, we'll finish this one last chapter, and then I'll be uh, ending the session here. Uh, oh, God. I keep wanting to belch for some reason, but it's not going out so well. Uh, I forgot to mention one thing. If this uh, if this uh, destination marker is white, then that means you could do whatever you want. Still, you're not being forced to. Uh, uh, I mean, that's not really your only option to go to next. You can do whatever you want, like beat up criminals in a hideout, like so, or you can help civilians and. Uh, solve their problems and stuff. But me, I just like to go to these destinations first thing, then take care of the uh, problems outside of New York. <sighs> and uh, another thing, you can also access these hit markers. From the southern tip of the island. Kinda makes you wonder if there's some way to get out there, huh? Yeah, but we already got, we've already been to Lady Liberty in this game once after that alien invasion, which is not physically possible without having the proper equipment. Okay. So what does the Daily Bugle want us to do this time? <laughs> Let's see. Peter, great timing. Jonah was just yelling for you. Go on in. <laughs> Thanks, Betty. You were looking for me, Mr. Jameson? Parker, where were you 15 minutes ago? There's a Latverian diplomat coming into the city by helicopter. He's landing any moment, and I need a photo. Now get over there like your job depended on it. Got it, Mr. Jameson. Huh, all right. He just says he wants a photo. We'll get him a photo of the person. Huh. I have a feeling I know what this is going to be, but I'm not quite sure. I might be too or that might be too late later in the game. However, this looks familiar. Help! Martians are robbing the Speedy Mart! Oh, yep, I am correct. This is the one. Alien invaders holding up a convenience store. This I have to see. Why a convenience store? A Speedy Mart, huh? huh. Oh, look, it's Mysterio. Sure, Space Dude, whatever you say, just... Don't disintegrate me or whatever. How low the mighty have fallen. You dare to challenge the infinite line of Mysterio? I will destroy you utterly. You will bear witness to the majesty and glory of my power. Prepare to die. Okay, this is just a joke. You have trifled with my power for the last time. I will not hold back. You face your doom today. Hold on. Let's see. Shut up. <laughs> God dang. Quentin Beck, I presume. Say cheese! I knew it all along. It was Quentin Beck. Great. Now to get these photos to the bugle. Now we can just mess around with him, just like we did with Rhino. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I have enough. I had enough fun with him. Only knew. Now to get this photo to Jameson. And, uh... Hopefully in this chapter within the time limit. 
Well, I got really like 12 minutes, so I'm, I think I can get it done before the, the time limit. Okay. Something I forgot to mention. How is your spring break, go spring break going? Some of you guys might not have it yet. It might be just in another week or so. Go on in. Parker, what do you want? I have some photos you might want to see. Remember Quentin Beck? Turns out he was Mysterio. I told you aliens don't exist. So, Beck and Spider-Man weren't cahoots all along. How can you look at those pictures and say that? I don't have time for your moral outrage, Parker. I'm trying to run a paper here and make sure my son's wedding to Jean Marie doesn't bankrupt me. Her name is Mary Jane. Yeah, right, right. I'll give you 200 for the lot. You can collect your money on your way out. Huh. Whatever. I can't believe that. Jameson would frame his own mother if he thought it would sell papers. Yeah. But how is your spring break going? If you have it, anyways. What did I ever do to Jameson? What could he possibly have against me? I don't know. Help me! Someone help me! Need a hand? Don't hurt me! What? Wait, I'm trying to help. Wow, I just love it how there's a civilian right so behind me and he's just and she's just like walking casually. I'm going to go give the bugles esteemed publisher a piece of my mind. He's messed <laughs> up my reputation long enough. It's almost like she was an assassin and she's trying to assassinate Spider-Man from behind, but nope. I mean, she's not afraid as that one girl is. And furthermore, and to top it all off, why would you even scream for help if there's no hero to defend you? <laughs> If you think the hero is a villain. I don't have time to talk. I need to have a word with the publisher of the Daily Bugle. Oh, there, mighty one. Take a deep breath. That paper has turned half the city against me. I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> well, I'm sure that bursting into the Bugle offices and yelling will clear everything up. All I'm saying is, you may want to calm down. You seriously need to loosen up. Have more fun! You're a superhero. You you swing through New York City in brightly colored tights. I like my costume. The point is, here you are. Powers far beyond those of mortal men. And you're pounding on a rooftop. What's up with that? <laughs> I guess you're right. What did you have in mind? Well, I did find Shocker again. Huh. <laughs> I'm dying for some payback. Sounds good. All right. Showtime, baby. All right. So we get to ambush Sharker again. Okay, well, at least she's not glitched up this time. She's able to descend as, as natural as anyone would descend from a building. Or from in the air, I mean. Yeah, thank God. That last chase was, like, so... Uh, didn't make any sense at all. I mean, usually video game logic doesn't make sense in the real world, but that was just too out of control. Okay. Now, the more you chase her, well, the more of these, ch uh, oh god. <laughs> yeah, throwing them off a building is the best way to, like, beat them. During more of these chase uh, segments, she's not going to stop and wait for you like she does in the beginning. She'll just continue on in the path that she goes in. I don't even know where she's going now. Okay. Oh, that was pretty cool. Wait, why am I using the targeting system?
Where'd she go? Oh. Now I do believe if you uh, hit the ground, that that counts as an that counts that you just automatically lost her. So you have to stay with her in the buildings, up high on the buildings. Do not hit the ground. It's like in Spider-Man One. If you fall too far to the ground, or if you uh, fall too close to the ground, you automatically die. <laughs> Oh no, I remember this. Oh no. <laughs> I almost failed that. Come on. Why am I looking at her? Anyways. <laughs> I love throwing people inside of the water. They are history. And soon they will be discovered in the ocean. And I have no idea where she is. Oh, there she is. Wait, what? Okay. Alright. But yeah, now we're crossing the bridge. Oh god. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get that medal. Or that token. The secret token. Oh, crap. Uh... Okay, random, random, uh, splash sound. Uh, whatever. Okay, um, unfortunately though, we're, we're not gonna have enough time to fight Shocker. Whoa, this is an old Oscorp research lab. Shock's moving up in the world. Yeah, uh, some kind of space propulsion thing. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm gonna find another way in. I'll meet you inside. Alright. See you inside in the next recording session, as we're running out of time, so... Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Mr. Afro Man 20 and your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. See you guys next time.